You're wasting your time with wasting your time with giving to me. Maybe we could be more. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your girl Chemology, and you are tuned into Chemology because that's the name of the show. I know what you're thinking, okay? My voice, right? It's gone. When you find it, send it back to me, okay? Because <laughs> she's gone. But you have to keep pressing on, regardless of your voice being in Nova Scotia. Today, I have a special guest, and he's wonderful. He's the bomb. He's one of my favorite artists uh -huh. that just so happened to be, yeah, I mean that. Don't you, no, don't get emotional. No, don't you do this to me, no. No, you know, are you okay? Okay, don't you, okay, oh God, the feelings. <laughs> <laughs> I have the amazing Carlton Rashad with me. Give it up for Carlton Rashad. Carlton, I love your jacket. Give it to me. Fifty dollars. Okay. Well, all right. The audience, they know that. Okay, Carlton, how are you, love? I am fantastic. First of all, okay. So, backstory quickly. <clears throat> I interviewed Carlton last year. And what most of you don't know is that I record my episodes on my phone all last year. I did it on my phone except for maybe two episodes. I had a videographer, but I had it on my phone and literally Carlton is sitting next to me. We're going back and forth, we're interviewing. And it says, not enough storage. And I was like, this is so embarrassing. And it's happened to like another artist that I had on the show, but I was able to wing it and we were able to work it out. But I just was not satisfied. So I was like, Carlton, we have to, you have to come back. You have to come back, start fresh. He did a performance as well last year, but I was still like, no, we're going to do it over. Okay. So this is the duo. It's the duo. over. And I'm redo. so glad that you're here. Yes. I'm glad to be here. Carlton, last year you won for, tell us. Kansas City People's Choice Best Male Vocalist 2021. Yes, you did. Wow. Yes, and I know that was a year ago, but how was that for you? Because that oh was a big gosh. moment for you. It was crazy. It definitely proved a lot to me. Yeah. It showed me a lot about me. Yeah. Um, I honestly wasn't even expecting to win. I wasn't. I wasn't. Really? I think I was more so just honored to be nominated. I was in a category with some incredible talent. It was tough. Talent. Yeah. yeah, it was tough. It yeah. was Marlon Hatcher, uh, right. Lee Langston, uh, mm -hmm. Church Boy, Ooh. Brandocious, and Good myself. Ones. Yeah. So it was all five of us in one category, yeah. all equally talented, all extremely dope on stage. Absolutely. So when they said that I won. I was actually sitting next to Marlon. I think I beat his arm. He like, yo, I won. <laughs> and he was like, dude, calm down. No, well, that's awesome. Yeah, it, the last year's uh, award, yeah, I won too. I and wasn't expecting to win either. Yeah. It was just kind of like, uh, but you know what? I think the reason for your win outside of your wonderful talent, wonderful gift, is your consistency. You were working hard, yeah, very year. hard, sir. Yeah. Like we were seeing you more in venues, yeah. away from versatile. Yeah. And we're gonna talk about that. Okay. But I <laughs> like just, just making it known that I believe your win was because of your consistency, your artistry, and you're just a nice person. Thank you. 
my best friend Gary, he saw you perform one time at Soul Sessions. It was like, he's really a nice guy. Aww. Like off stage, just really a great spirit. So yes, but let's get into Versatile. That's when I first met you. Yes, yes. And Versatile is a group, was a group, are you guys? So okay, still... explain. Okay. <laughs> okay, 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 go ahead. So we started as a collaboration of the voices for Paseo Academy. It was the Alumni Showcase 2014. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually one of the ones that spearheaded the um, entire event. And so I called Mitchell and called Leonard and said, hey, I want you guys to sing together because they were actually yeah. And then Mitchell bullied me into it. And so I bullied somebody else into it. Oh. So it was one whole bully match. And okay. I'm, I'm grateful for it because it definitely taught me a lot. Um, it taught me a lot about working with others. Um, yes. And it showed me that everybody has a part to play in whatever. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot about communication. I learned a, a lot about trust. Yeah. Um, I learned a lot about a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah. Learn how to listen more, actually. They don't do it. When you're in a group and dealing with different personalities, there's so much to learn. Ooh. Okay. Yes, because I used to tell people that all the time. Like, it's more to be in a group than just The performance, singing. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's more than just <clears throat> blending well or great harmonies and singing in unison. You have to make sure that your personalities match. You have to make sure that your characters match. You have to compliment each other. You have to know when to speak, when not to speak. So knowing how to actually deliver information yeah. <clears throat> to whoever you're gonna deliver it to. But, you know, it was, it was amazing. Okay, and are you guys still together? We still work together. Uh, we are not doing a lot together right now. Mm -hmm. We still kind of make few appearances is versatile we featured at soul sessions about two months ago a month ago oh that's right yeah. about a month ago so that was our first like hoorah in a, a while yeah we did ethnic festival in august so that okay. was pretty awesome what was the reason for you guys to somewhat part ways kind of life mm -hmm. life was happening <clears throat> so mitchell uh, Mitchell was wanting to be more present with his family life. Yeah. And um, it was kind of me starting to do a lot of solo gigs. Um, I did a show with Quez, uh, the yeah. Aaliyah tribute. I remember and that you did. Amazing. I remember <laughs> Thank that. you. I don't know if venue was so small. It was small. Baby, it was small, but it oh. was so good. I was scared I was going to fall off the stage. You should have been. It was a high. It, it was, was a high super stage, high. Y'all. For super real. high yeah but um it was that um once he started wanting to focus on family which i understood yeah um because they were starting a family so it was it was important yeah. for them to actually be together um and then me just wanting to continue to pursue music mitchell was actually the one that pushed me to do yeah. the the solo music because at first i was like oh we can take a break you know it's fine right. we can take a break he's like no you need to keep going Absolutely. keep singing he was like yeah. i'm gonna take a break you gonna keep singing yeah. And then he's like, and then you're going to release a project. And I'm like, what? what? I'm going to do what? Yes, you are. I'm and you have. Can you tell us about your projects? Yes. Yes, Dear please. Future Love is the name of my project <laughs> that surprisingly was so loved. I was sitting there like, oh, God. Are you kidding me? I was shook. Stop. I was shook. Why? Well, first, I'm going to say I was shook by the love for vibe. <laughs> hey, uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> Come on. No, for real, I was so shook by it. Yes. I was shook by the love for vibe, and then once the album came out, I was just like, oh my god. Yeah, I remember so, you saying that, like how the numbers just the streams. I think you were watching they went the streams. Crazy. Yeah. The streams for vibe was already at a thousand at that night. Yeah. The night it came out, I was like, I remember that. What? Y'all like the song? Of course. Come on, somebody. I'm dead. What about, so you, you have put out uh, visuals. Yes. Before. Tell us about the visuals that you have out so far. So I have one visual out so far, which okay. is just more. It okay. was the second single. Um, I wanted to do one for all the songs on the album. Okay. I was trying to be Beyonce and you know, do it. Do a, a video for every song, but I don't have Beyonce money, so 
that 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 fell where that it was. That can be a problem. It can, yeah. and you know nobody was gonna do it for bone notes, no. You know, mm -hmm. it would've been beautiful, but I understand, and I I want to make sure that I'm supported yes. as well. So. Well, I mean, so are you? Going to be put out any more new projects are you still kind of riding the wave like what can we expect in the near future can i be honest and say that i started working on another project after the album dropped what? <laughs> of course i so i started writing so um a month before i released the project i had a tonsillectomy and uh the project was like completely done yeah. And so after it came out, it had been pushed back quite a few times too. And so I think by the time Dear Future Love came out, I was like, all right. Yeah. And so maybe a week after it came out, I went back in the studio and started recording again. Mm -hmm. And we've been working on this new piece okay. this whole year. So it is, is it an EP or album? It'll be an EP. Okay. Okay. It's personal. Is something wrong with staying in the studio? You feel it? I mean, it made me so happy. The first song that I recorded after the toss election, crazy. I'll show it to you. Crazy. It sounded good, right? Oh, God. I, mean, I think it was the best I sounded in all of really? the time. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Um, quick question for you. Well, I've been asking questions, but here's another <laughs> question for you. Um, in regards to yourself as an artist, <clears throat> What do you feel like is the most important message that you're trying to convey to your audience? Like, what is the one thing that you want your audience to take away from via live performance or just musically? Inspiration. Mm -hmm. I want people, when they come to my shows, when they see me live, when they hear my music, uh, when they see interviews, yeah. I want them to feel inspired. I want them to feel inspired to aspire higher. Yeah. I want them to feel motivated. I want them to feel like I did when I seen Chris Brown performing Running on 106 and Park. Or okay. the way I seen yes. um, Michael Jackson as a kid singing I Want to Be Where You Are, you know, yeah. or seeing Beyonce performing Crazy in Love on BET. Like, you know, I yeah. want them to feel that, that type of inspiration. Yeah. Um, because it made me want to go harder. Yeah. And so I want people to understand that it doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, how small you are, how big you are, that you can do it. You yeah. can achieve anything that you set out to, that you put your mind to. Yeah. And my shows, I want you to feel inspired, I want you to feel loved, and I want you to feel passionate. That's awesome, Carly. I'm so excited for you. Like, I really, I said this before in my previous um, interview with Rob Lowe. Um, I just feel like there's not enough platforms for black artists. Yeah. And the show is not about me. It really is about y'all. Because even with me as an artist, I don't feel like there's enough that's showcasing us, that's advocating for us. So I genuinely like enjoy you as an artist. You're amazing. Like your spirit. There are some people that can sing, Carly. Sing and they, oh, huh? Uh huh. And they have the worst attitude ever. I was always taught that um, it's a quote by Maya Angelou. People will forget what you say. They will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you make them feel. Yeah. And I live by that. That is a quote that I stick with on a regular basis, yeah. and that I. Um, I tell kids, I tell people yeah. that work with me, I always want you to feel good about working with me. Even yeah. if it wasn't in the best of circumstances, I still want you to feel like, you know what, but he, he made it, he made it all right. He made yeah. me feel like I was a part of it. Um, I've been a part of some things where it wasn't great. It yeah. wasn't beautiful. Um, it wasn't perfect. Um, but because of my attitude and because of my personality and uh, hey guys, it's all right. Let's let's take care of it We we got this. Yeah, my pleasant, you know spirit and tone it made it a lot better Absolutely. That opened up doors and other opportunities for me. And yeah, would be like, you know what? Carlton's cool. Yeah, I don't hear I mean, I was out of here like people just be, But I just have never heard anything negative about you Come on, somebody. At all. <laughs> and I'm not saying like I, like I hear negative stuff about people all the time or anything like that, but 
it's always the same thing across the board. Now, as an artist, what has been one of the most difficult moments in your life, like as far as your artistry? What has been something that's been difficult for you or it's been kind of a setback for you? You know, I think about this question all the time because um, I hear it asked in yeah. interviews. And so I, I think I think about this question all the time and I never know what to say because mm -hmm. I think um, there's a new challenge every day. There's always going to be something that, you know, comes up that will prohibit you from doing something, yeah. whether it's financial or whether it's um, momentary, uh, whatever it is, there's always something that comes up. Yeah. I can't think of one specific thing that has happened to me that has made it difficult yeah. um, for me. Um, but I will say I've learned a lot of lessons. Yeah, I've learned a lot of lessons. I, I understand that um, I'm not for everybody. I understand that everybody is not going to, um, everybody's not going to rock with me. Mm -hmm. um, and I always say, even if you, if you if you don't think I'm a great singer or a great performer, a great artist, at least you'll be able to say he's a cool person. Yeah. Um, I I really can't think of anything that has made made my artistry difficult because there's always something different yeah. that goes on. Yeah. Um, well, I'll say. If I did have to say something, it would be definitely financial. Like I have, some, I have big dreams. Okay, come on. I have big dreams. I have big yeah. thoughts, big ideas, and sometimes I have to break them down. Yeah. And um, knowing that sometimes I'm limited in in what yeah. I can do financially. But, it's hard to invest in yourself yeah. and invest in your dreams, and you gotta work with what you have and be resourceful. It's it's not an easy thing at all. But you're doing such a wonderful job so far. And I'm just, I'm excited about what's to come Thank you. for you. Now, are there any collaborations in the works? Because you, you collaborated with Jay Soul. Yes. Shout out to Jay Soul. That was a great collaboration. Yeah. Two great collaborations. Absolutely. We talked about doing a collaborative project together. That would be dope. You guys' voices are great together. What, who else? I'm, I'm having a brain fart right now. I've done work with the Royal Chief. Um, yes, you have. And we, so we actually did collaborate on my project, Their Future Love. Yeah. Um, so Chief was an incredible collaboration. Amazing. Shout out to Chief. Um, I've done, of course, like background work for him as well. Yeah. I have done some, a collaboration with Re Divine. Um, we haven't released anything, but. She needs to hurry up. <laughs> you heard Amazing that. Voice. <laughs> Amazing voice. Amazing yes, voice. Yes. Um, of course, with Slick, you know, we have projects yes. together, but yes. um, we are actually, we actually worked on some new stuff together. It's like yeah. me featuring him, him featuring me. So yeah. we'll, we'll see what happens with it. Well, I'm excited for you, Carly. You're doing Thank so you. I just, I just have to love on you because it's just, I don't get to see you at all the venues that you're at. Can you tell us where you're usually <laughs> at? Because she's all, I know you're at the Phoenix. Uh -huh. Every first Friday. Okay, where else? Um, at the Phoenix every first Friday, um, I do a lot of private gigs. So the Phoenix is like that major gig that you can see me in public, yeah. unless I go to one of the open mics like Soul Sessions or the Thursday Vibe yeah. uh, with Joe Macklin. Yeah. Um, for the most part, I do a lot of private gigs, unless and also unless I do my own show, yeah. um, which I'm planning a few more of those. Okay. Um, that's that's pretty much. Pretty much it right now. Okay. <laughs> well, Carly, tell us where we can follow you on social media so we can stay connected, stay engaged with you. Absolutely. So you can follow me on all social media at Carlton Rashad. That's C A R L T O N R A S H A D. Oh, it's long, um, but it's it, okay. It is. At least I'm gonna just say search Carlton Rashad because I, I I could give the Instagram handle, but that's like a name, a hashtag, a name, a hashtag. Okay. What is? It? Saying underscore Carlton underscore Rashad. Ain't nobody talking them scores. Ain't that's that's why I said I would just say just search Carlton Rashad. It's my logo. Yeah. Come up. Okay, Carlton, I know you're performing for us on the show. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see it. Thank you. And yeah, I'm I'm glad we could finally get together after a year. 
I know. I know. I was super excited. When when you texted me, I was like, let's go. Okay, I let's told go. you I wasn't going to, like, forget about you. I was like, it has to be right. No, and I, I said that. I was like, it has to be the right time. Timing yeah. is everything. Um, and I was I was saying, I was like, our schedules, they were not meshing so at ashy. a point. It was so, so ashy. Yeah. It, it just had to, it had to make sense. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad you came. Thank you for having me. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. Wait, hold on. What are you doing to me? No. I wanted no. to gift no. you with something. No. This is one of the t-shirts from my brand. So I wanted to... <laughs> Stop wearing that. Well, guys, look. <laughs> I'm going to cherish it. This is so great. Oh, Carly. Thank you so much for my gift. Absolutely. Guys, it's so sweet, isn't it sweet? He's so sweet. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day, week, wherever you are. Um, thanks for tuning in, and make sure you keep blooming. Yes. Yes. <laughs>